Welcome back, YouTube. We're changing a bit of the scenery here. We've got a voice by Decoy Voice. Uh, Johnny Somali. If you don't know who this is, I... <laughs> I wish I didn't as well, but... <laughs> he is a nuisance to every country that he goes to. Um, the only issue is, he doesn't go to the countries that are, like, big issues. Like, he went to Israel. He didn't go to, to Gaza. I don't think so. <laughs> and he didn't cause a, a scene there. He, he basically goes around, causes scenes, um, is racist, <laughs> completely racist, and then turns around and cries victim whenever stuff, like, terrible stuff bad, like, terrible things, like, happen to him. Like, the accuser, he went to Japan. The accuser forced him to, like, apologize. Uh, he got arrested there, but Japan had to re uh, release them, and now he's in Korea causing trouble. Uh, one thing I do know, I, I did watch a video, and apparently he went to a statue, and the statue was a comfort girl. If you don't know what that was, uh, basically when Japan invaded, they took uh, Korean women as comfort girls for like their soldiers, as in. They would outword them, and the statue is basically a reminder of that. the The issues they had they had back when the the Japanese Empire was, you know, during the whole war thing. And he went up there, sat next to that comfort girl statue, and kissed it. Like this is beyond disrespectful. <laughs> and I don't. I would like to say. I don't condone violence, I would like to say that, but <clears throat> some people just, yeah, I just wanted to watch this, but don't worry, I'll be back on the nearest summer stuff, I might be reacting to some VTubers as well, but I just wanted to see this because apparently some big stuff happened, so. If you want to run up, run up, I'm live. If I wasn't scared, I wouldn't be live. I broadcast my live location every day, every night, bro. Hey, what happened to the design? Uh, it looks like something already every happened. Day, what? Every night, bro. I don't care. Come get me. Come get me. Jesus. <laughs> Is he the All of Asia? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the rest of the world. The Korean Al Gaib, the prince that was promised, or just your typical Korean guy. Raised on Taekwondo, served his mandatory two years in their military with an innate ability to pop out the bushes and take out two weak That is true, that's something I, I didn't... <laughs> I forgot. Korea, they're Koreans. Uh, he's probably so military. He's probably <laughs> a league player, so... <laughs> this guy is not... <laughs> you don't mess with him. <laughs> Don't at the mess same with time. Koreans, man. So we're gonna get more into why this front kicking Giga Chad took out all three of these idiots by himself, even when Johnny's awkward Korean accomplice brought out a samurai sword, as he actually set off a chain reaction of Johnny being beaten, banned off YouTube, and again put in police custody with what I hear are serious charges. So if you haven't seen what started all this not Somalian nonsense out in South Korea, go check out that video I made just I've three seen, days ago. I think I've seen that. Since then, oh, that's, more... that's why he has a patch. I've seen that. That guy walked up to him, like, <laughs> punch, sucker punched him. I, I, I will admit that, but like, after that, it was two of them. Both him, Johnny Somali, and his friend ran up to him and tried to scare him. He turns around, the guy who punched Johnny Somali turns around and walks to them, and then they backed off. <laughs> like, these guys are all back. But local Koreans were tracking them down in the streets, snitching out their activities to the police. They are falsely accusing me of having drugs and the weapons in my, in my place. So I'm going to have the cops...
What do you mean falsely accused of having weapons? I don't think this samurai sword came out of Hammerspace. Jesus. And whoever recorded you guys getting sprayed outside that house actually caught you carrying your pew pew that at one point in time you actually drew. So even though Johnny's Korean account- Wait, you can- Is that legal in Korea? What? You can carry a gun? Accomplice is American. To my understanding, there's no two way in Korea. So either he's gonna no? do some serious time over the same crime in two different countries, or he's running around with fake weapons that unfortunately can't protect you from real beatings. As those beatdowns began when the local streamers, angry about how he was helping Johnny, found and surrounded his home. No, they're running up on Hank's crew. Crazy, bro. Y'all not doing this to Hank, bro. No, chat. No. What is he? What is his goal? I don't get this. Does he want to, like, game end? <laughs> like, what the heck? Oh, no, no. And again, Johnny and Johnny Jr. reminded us of their gangsta fluid status. Seamlessly. He, he's small as well. <laughs> That's the thing. Why is he doing this? He's small. Switching between, I'll fight you, to, I'll sue you if you hurt me. I love that. Don't touch me, I call the police. You swear to God, just do it, man. Do it. <laughs> All that talk and then these two games just whoa, whoa, rock up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this guy, this guy fell, but he's just calling him legend. <laughs> legend, legend. I got you, I got you. What's up? <laughs> Yo, don't touch me, don't touch me. Jesus, and while man. this Korean is kicking them, he's specifically saying this is about Johnny violating those comfort woman statues. I don't blame him. I don't blame the guy, man. That is... <laughs> the symbolism behind that statue, and you go and kiss it, that's fucking... Jesus, man. I think he just wants to like die. <laughs> like, why would uh... this is getting crazy? So while Johnny's jumping in an elevator, Johnny Jr. is still trying to escape. Yeah, he just leaves his friend. <laughs> What's what he do, man? Just help your friend, dude. Oh, sh yeah, Somali. Legend. <laughs> then Johnny's Asian Sherpa shows up with his sword. What's it? What's he gonna do? Like. I'm sorry, <laughs> does he think he's in London? <laughs> Brother. You can tell he's not going to do anything with that. Like, you got 11 year olds in London carrying around ZKs. Jesus, I should probably use that. Back. And this guy's carrying around, ah. what's that? Like a $20, like, samurai sword that's gonna snap if he uses it. Right. Where's your pistol, man? <laughs> Get your pistol out. <laughs> He's calling police. And after their beatings concluded, the police seemingly only searched Johnny. Yeah, 
Now I'm hearing reports that he was on the run, refusing to authorize further testing or signing any statements, which sounds a lot like what happened in Japan right before they tossed him in prison, as it almost sounds like he sees incarceration as just a cost of doing business, but this is actually going to hurt him, as his YouTube channel, he struggled to get 20,000 subscribers, just got deleted. Now he is reaching out to YouTube on Twitter. Still bigger than me though. <laughs> Twitter saying that this was a mistake, and originally I thought it would be over the various other violations he's committed, threatening people on livestream, the petty crimes committed across several countries, or the false copyright strikes he confirms himself were just to attack other creators. But no, apparently it was none of that, it was from within his own camp. As several people are saying on social media, it was a former friend that logged into his account to stream straight up adult content on Johnny's account, as Johnny's ban was inevitable, but being because his own people were pissed at him was a curveball nobody saw. But the thing that over 10 what? million people did Why would he... Why would he do that? Like... Why Why would you... I, 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 I get why his friend is, is probably like shitty to his friends, but like, why would he give access to like other people? But like his account, that See, makes in just no two sense. Days, was you and your whole crew getting cracked by that one Korean dude? And as I said in my last video, he needs to flee the country. As Korean live streamers are saying, if you can find him, I'll give you no. one million Korean won. One million won? <laughs> There's a bounty on him. That is crazy. That is crazy. There is all that whole issue with like um that Asmongold and and uh, Denims about like a bounty on people like that's wild but like it's weird right because <laughs> people are, like everyone was like against that like why would you say that aloud why 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 would you wish death on people but I I don't think this is like actually like a bounty to like for his head or anything but this is probably just <laughs> to beat him up hey not that that's any good but uh, some people man which is so just saying. find him in the street to receive over 700 us dollars and even popular korean streamers with over 200,000 subscribers or straight up challenging him to a match where johnny can get 10,000 us dollars subscribers us dollars that's and really even nice. i'll persuade johnny it would be a good content at the gym. I've invited a, a gym where Johnny and I can fight. If Johnny wants to fight, I'll give you the Popular address. Korean streamers with over 200,000 subscribers or straight up challenging. I communicate with Hank, a Korean American friend, Johnny Smiley. Oh, that's the summer guy. Hank allows me to, to fight with Johnny. Uh, there's something. An ex convent like me can do. <laughs> Jesus. The condition was that if Umte Wong won, John, that's a tongue twister there. Johnny Somali would kneel in front of the statue and apologize if Johnny Somali won. I would give him $10,000. I will let you know. Ah! Reading. Yikes. I will let you know when, when the time and day are set him to a match where Johnny can get 10,000 US dollars for winning just for the opportunity to get him in the ring as there's now an entire job green youtuber alleged that you found what oh Jesus got a smile is staying began to walk around looking for him police was called assuming it was Hank who called and questioned him I stayed though Febris is also helping Koreans okay genre of Korean live streaming of just searching for Johnny in the streets as he is now essentially public enemy number one. <laughs> And that's not me blurring them out. Every Korean news outlet is protecting the identities of the Koreans attacking him, but just showing Johnny and Johnny's Jr. Is that like a... Because I know in Japan, it's kind of the same thing, I think. If I'm misremembering, just correct me. But I'm pretty sure, like, um, they, they got a... It's for their families, so they, they blur. But 
in this case, they're not showing. <laughs> they're showing John as well. It's uh, it's like, <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure in in Japan they try to hide the the guy as well. I think it's Japan or in like China. I know somewhere in Asia they they do that. They they hide the identity of like um, people. Who commit crimes as well. So word was Johnny was going to stream on the only platform he's not banned on. Did not stream because scared. Korean YouTubers tracked his location. Johnny called the police crying for an escort. Police snuck Johnny out of the, the hostel. Johnny is currently in police protection. Korea police are an embarrassment. But since the streets are crawling. Well. <sighs> bro, what they're going to do, man? Well, just <laughs> they can't let people just murk him <laughs> like that's <sighs> would the US say anything <laughs> I don't think so actually <laughs> yeah I don't but I think it's it's bad if it's because <sighs> that government it's a government thing like would you expect the government to like be like nonchalant about this? No, that's they have to do something. They have to step in. Dealing with streamers looking to take one, blow up their channel viewership. Allegedly, Johnny had to go into police protection. As just two days ago, I predicted exactly this scenario. Everybody that would either randomly see him in the streets or see him on stream and track him down would now see him as this pinata person. But instead of cracking him open for candy, they're taking swings for precious internet fame. Honestly, <laughs> I don't even blame him, as you don't need to speak Korean. I, 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 I wonder, like, um, geez, because they're streaming as well, and they don't have Twitch anymore because um, uh, Twitch pulled out of Korea. I, I wonder if those streaming. I think it's, is it Africa TV? I wonder what their policy is. Are they, are they allowed to just run around and like fight people? Are they allowed to even stream that? Because that guy didn't actually fight Johnny. Um, it was filming, calling him legend. The the other current guy, like, is he allowed to show that on stream? Because I know Twitch is like very, very much against it. So like, I I wonder like um what a freak TV does what their policy is on and that. Notice how their news stations essentially greenlit Johnny. The stories are about how he got beaten, why they think he deserved it, and pretty much protecting the Koreans and their legacy of rooftop rage. And in a super weird way, this is exactly what he wanted. As even when Johnny himself continues to re-upload his crash Look, out content, there's that guy he turned around tags me, and <laughs> decoy voice so I can be sure to see it. But luckily it looks like this not Somalian story is finally coming to an end. As all the streaming sites and all the safe countries ban him one by one he'll surely return to obscurity where the internet will quickly forget but unfortunately for him no matter where he goes in the world he'll always run the risks that somebody might still recognize him and if it's anything like what went down in korea he will live the rest of his life looking over his shoulder but if you appreciate my concise lighthearted commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality hopefully yeah, Either he's gonna get banned or like give up, or he's just gonna end up like on a news. Uh, yeah, where they found his body. Earn your subscription. It's just terrible. The like, why? Why? <laughs> what is? Does it get off on this? <laughs> is that his thing? His kink? Know about that Korean cowboy that was literally the beginning of the end for him. Damn, that was a good video. That's, I, I, I wanted to like see what, what else was going on. I saw the first video where he got punched, and apparently that's why he had the bandage on his eye. But like, Jesus, what what is his like thing, man? He has to be getting off to us. <laughs> so shit. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. This is from uh, Decoy Voice. This is from Decoy Voice. It'll be in the description below. Anyway, we'll be back for some near summer clips and and videos and some other stuff as well. I just wanted to branch out and wanted to to watch this because I I'm actually interested on on the updates. I'm never gonna watch him. 
I'll live stream. I'll, I'll rather watch commentators um, on this stuff anyway. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.